Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. The missing guns of the gunfighters. Hmm. Let's check that out. Before we get started, I have to apologize for sounding more nasal than usual. I'm fighting off a bit of a cold. People who get their feet wet must learn to take their medicine. Some Hollywood movies depict folks burying dead shootists in graves with their guns and gun rigs. Should we give them a proper burial? No, yeah, why not? Well, not only does this make me cringe, but it isn't practical. A revolver or rifle back then was, like today, not cheap. A new Colt single action cost about $12 which was over a week's pay for some laborers. A rifle could be upwards to $40 or more, so wouldn't it make sense to hold on to these? Yes. I quite agree. One of the mysteries that has always haunted me is where are the lost guns of the famous Old Westians? Certainly not in a grave. Sure, some are in museums or private collections and we have provenance to prove it. Heck, the revolver Pat Garrett used to kill Billy the Kid went for over $6 million. Surely you can't be serious. But what of the others? Last week, I mentioned that Arizona Ranger Jeff Kidder's engraved Colt with carved pearl grips was found in a pawn shop in Naco, Mexico following his death. Kidder was a true gunfighter. Captain Reining mentioned he never saw a man faster on the draw and his service record shows he was accurate. So, how does the gun used by this man of reputation end up in a pawn shop? No doubt they were just looking to get a few bucks for it, which makes me sad. Had it not been found and identified, would it be sitting in someone's keepsake chest up in an attic? In some instances, the firearms went to the next of kin. Apparently, one of Doc Holliday's guns is in his family, but not all of them. The 1982 book, Guns and the Gunfighters, states the others found with his belongings went to pay his medical and hotel bills after his death in Colorado. Some of those may have made it into museums or private collections. In the 1892 Coffeeville, Kansas failed bank attempt, souvenir hunters were grabbing up all they could from the fallen Dalton gang. Each of the five bandits had two engraved pearl-handled revolvers. At least eight of those Colts made it to safety. But where are the other two? Of course, you all know that the channel is haunted by the ghost of stagecoach robber Bill Brazelton. When he was ambushed and killed, he had two revolvers and a Remington rolling block rifle. That's right. Where are they? Oh. Maybe given to the other deputies as souvenirs? What? Sitting above someone's mantle as a cool historic firearm? No. Maybe in a crate near the Ark of the Covenant. I've heard stories of widows and family members buying cheap revolvers in pawn shops and selling them off as their famous Old Westian's firearms. If that is the case, then a dozen folks probably own the gun Wyatt Earp used at the OK Corral. Which makes tracking down the real ones even more difficult. Sure, serial numbers on firearms are traceable, but only if the owner purchased it from the factory. That leaves out a bunch of other men who lived and died by the gun. Some guns we will never see again. Supposedly, Johnny Ringo's rifle and one of Billy the Kid's pistols were burned in fires. I'm sure those aren't the only ones. There is a Gunfighter Hall of Fame museum in Tombstone, which could have some of these missing firearms. It's an impressive place for sure, with displays showing the reported guns and accoutrements of some of these outlaws and lawmen. I have my doubts on some of their claims, but at least they have made a huge effort to educate us and keep the history of the Old West alive. So, the next time you visit a museum and stare at that wall of historic firearms that have been passed from person to person for over a century, Keep in mind that some of them could tell stories of train robberies, stagecoach holdups, or giving someone lead poisoning. If they could only talk. Well, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the track.